It's actually pretty nice out for, for once, you know, springtime's near. And what does that mean? More people are going to want to do videos, go outside and actually enjoy their time. And that's what I want to do, but something's been on my mind. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to talk about cameras, DSLR, mirrorless cameras specifically for video. So hit that subscribe if you're interested in that type of stuff and you'll see my content. Specifically, I talk at least lately a lot about the R5. Now, in my previous videos, I was like super suffering from gear acquisition syndrome. I just got the R5 probably about a little over a year ago, and now the R5C came out. And then you had Atomos Ninja V Plus. Both of those options allow unlimited 8K recording as opposed to the Canon R5, which has its overheating and basically general recording limitations with like 30 minutes. So I was kind of like tossing up in the air. What should I get? What should I get? Should I get the R5C? Should I get the Animos Ninja? Do I really need to record 8K this way? What can I do and what are my options? And if you didn't see my, one of my previous videos, I actually chose to do neither and get a very large CF Express card because the CF Express card would allow me to at least record little snippets of 8K whenever I want, which is what I do the most. That's why I left you guys. Pretty much said, you know, this was the best option. When you make a purchase or you go buy one of my recommendations, what ends up happening? Well, you go with it and then basically you're like, oh, this didn't work for me, or maybe it did work for you. But I want to show you how it was able to work for me with the CF Express card, because would it work on a professional ship? Would I be able to overcome overheating problems? I put it to the test. Now this past weekend, I had to shoot a concert, a pretty much live concert, as much footage as I possibly could, plus other stuff. So it wasn't just the concert, it was pretty much an all day shoot. I had my R5 and my goal was record as much 8K as possible. Shooting sporadic things is one thing, you know, turning on and off the camera occasionally is, is of course interesting but I put it to the test because I wanted to record non-stop not sporadic just keep recording keep recording maybe I stop the video for a second as I move or it transition to something else and then start the video again I did not want to stop the R5 from recording 8k raw how would I do this especially since the R5 still has overheating problems. In previous videos, I've talked about keeping the camera cool before you even start recording because then you have a longer runtime. What I did was, and I'll show you guys this footage right here, I took the R5, dismounted the lens, I actually put it in a little lunch bag, and I put these dry ice bricks surrounding it in plastic. The humidity around it at least wouldn't change or be affected by the outside. Put that in, wrapped it in the lunch bag, put all my other camera gear inside my camera bag, and just went to the shoot. Now the shoot I did on a gimbal. So I have the camera on a gimbal right now, so I can stand up and I can walk around. And pretty much right when I was gonna set up the gimbal, I took it out of the bag, and that's when I started to pretty much record minutes later after I set it up on the gimbal. Because that was my goal. Don't take the camera out of the lunchbox until I was ready to film. When I did, I set up the camera and I just recorded for the rest of the day. Did I put it back in the lunch bag? In between like one shoot and the concert shoot, yes I did. But then I took it out of the bag, set it up and then just recorded. I didn't need to set it up again to do that. What ended up happening was that throughout the day, I had it on, um, first of all, raw light. I didn't record full raw. I recorded raw light on the R5. But I recorded a mixture of mostly 8K, but there was one portion that I recorded in uh, 4K HQ because my memory card filled up. I was able to record one terabyte straight of raw light, which is almost an hour and a half without overheating, just by bringing the camera in the lunch bag. And then I recorded the rest on 4K HQ. Camera never overheated for a long shoot. And that's kind of the point that I wanted to share with you guys. Not just my recommendation, but the experience that I had with the recommendation of using that CF Express card and working on an alternative. Now, how many batteries did I use? I used two batteries for that whole shoot in 8K. As opposed to using the R5C, I would have probably burned through six or seven batteries 
Or if I use the Atomos, I would have had to carry batteries for the monitor and batteries for the camera and run them all. Nope, two batteries, R5, simply just having it in a cooler, which costs significantly less than buying all that other stuff. And of course, I needed a TF Express card big enough to have everything, so that's it. What I wanted to show you guys, kind of like a follow-up to my previous situation. I'm just gonna go home. I just wanted to go out for a little walk and tell you guys that story. What do you guys think? Uh, was that experience enough to convince you that sometimes what you have is enough? Let me know in the comments down below as I try to cross the street. I still got five seconds. Four, better not drop the camera. Three, two, one, and I made it. <sighs> Time to go home. See you guys later.